Greetings, everyone. I'd like to first thank Traders Talk Live for hosting this very informative event today. My name is Gary R. Albrecht. I'm the founder and CEO of GPA Trading Services. I'm the creator of the Market Price Anticipator Premium Edition 4 version 4.0 software. This is a labor of love that I've been working on for about two decades. It's constantly improving. I'm also the instructor and the educator. Just a brief bio, I've been a professional trader for 20 plus years. I'm considered a technical analysis expert. I'm the creator of a one of a kind custom bespoke software. We founded GPA Trading Services about nine years ago. We've been educating thousands of students around the globe, conducting live events, speaking engagements, platinum programs, and we also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching and mentorships. Today's topic is how to identify market trends by becoming one with the time frame cycles. Now I know that kind of sounds peculiar at first, but when you understand what time frame cycles are, you'll understand why you need to become one with it. Just a brief statement that trading smarter, not harder is what the market price anticipator software is all about. Brief disclaimer, I won't sit there and read all these common disclaimers. I will highlight a few points. Trading is not suitable for all people. Some markets are leveraged and therefore it is possible to lose money in a deposit position. A person should only use funds they can afford to lose that fits within their overall financial plan as developed by a qualified financial planner. This particular rules is never risk more than 2% of your entire account balance on any one given trade. Options friends should never risk more than 5% of their entire account balance on any one given options trade. And most importantly, you should always adhere to strict proper money management. All information in this presentation is for your educational purposes and should not be taken as investment advice, nor as a recommendation or endorsement to buy or sell any specific investment, trade at your own risk. Now, what are the components of the hook and cross line of progression? This is really gonna amaze you how the system works, what a hook and cross is, what it implies, and how you can capitalize upon it. First is support and resistance. Everybody needs to know support and resistance. Trend direction. Key component is utilizing multiple time frames, but the key to that is aligning those time frames first. And then lastly, of course, is understanding how the lower time frames cycle within the larger time frames, and we like to refer to that as our hook and cross line of progression. Now let's just jump into a couple of screenshots. What exactly is the hook and cross? It starts with our indicator number one, trend momentum, indicator number two, price action. Now what is the hook and the cross? The hook is where we have our price action indicator and the trend momentums overbought together or oversold together. So the goal is to line up the price action indicator and the trend momentums over sold together to look for a buy or over bought together to look for a sell. Now, what is the importance of this hook and cross pattern? Once you get a hook on the PAI, this little initial hook pattern, what do you mean? It was up and it started to hook down. It would not hook unless we had already had a hook and a cross on the previous time frame, which in the monthly case would have been the weekly. So notice the software has been programmed for that exact purpose, that we're not gonna do a hook unless the previous time frame has a hook and a cross. Then once we get the PAI to hook and the trend momentum to cross, we call that the hook and cross pattern. It means follow through trend continuation, but it also means when it occurs on a monthly hook and a cross, the weekly will travel in cycle from overbought all the way to oversold. And notice what this is implying here, that we had a hook and a cross on a monthly, it meant the weekly was gonna go from overbought all the way to oversold. And during that period of weeks and weeks, and you can look at how many weekly candles, this is multiple, multiple, multiple months that the weekly took to cycle down. Well, within the daily, the daily has to go from overbought to oversold for the weekly to start its process. Then the daily must do this phenomenon we call slingshotting, 
where it slingshots lower and lower and lower, that behavior is a given behavior that you can anticipate in advance because the only way the weekly can cycle is the daily must cycle with it then keep slingshotting lower and lower. And the same with the monthly. The only way the monthly could complete its full cycle down, being a monthly cycle takes longer than a weekly, the weekly is going to have to go from overbought to oversold and start the slingshotting lower and lower process. So get the happen of that. Anytime you get a hook, the previous time frame has a hook and a cross, no matter what time frame. So a monthly hook, you get a weekly hook and a cross. A weekly hook, you get a daily hook and a cross. A daily hook, you get a four-hour hook and a cross. A four-hour hook, you get a one-hour hook and a cross. And it means the same thing through every time frame. Do we have any Star Trek fans out there? Spock, the Vulcan logic, it was always about Spock. Was Everything was logical. Everything about this system is logical. So not only does it work in every market, it works in every time frame the exact same. So whether I'm a scalper and I'm trading down on a 15 minute, I see a 15 minute hook down from overbought, then I know the five minutes gonna go from overbought to oversold. Not only the PAI, but the trend momentum as well. That's what we mean by the cycles. Now let's continue, we'll go to the charts in a second. I'll show you that on hand. Here's another example of oil where we were topping out now, what we've done over the years is we've developed this process to where this is the same system, but yet it's been enhanced and optimized for many, many years to now include the hook and cross trade trigger. These triggers will not fire unless the indicators are maxed out and there's other criteria other than the PAI and the trend momentum. So you'll notice other times we're overbought, we don't trigger, and then other times we do, and then we trigger. That's by design. So what is this implying? Well, we got a trigger to go short, and now all of this has been implemented into our trade management system, which means I can tell the trade management system to sell this trigger, and it'll sit there in ready to trade mode until the criteria is met, then it'll automatically enter the trade for you, pop in your stop loss, take profits. As soon as your first take profits reach, the stop loss moves automatically into profit taking an at-risk trade to no-risk trade. But the concept is what we're looking for here. We got a hook and a cross on the weekly hook and a cross. That meant the daily would go from overbought all the way to oversold. And notice this is the swing point that matches on the weekly, and here's the daily same swing point. So my daily went down, then it proceeded to slingshot lower and lower and lower and lower and lower and lower. Well, why do you think that time frames, and we like to talk about this, why does price action always stair step? This was a very, very strong downtrend for black gold Texas tea oil. And we knew it was going to keep stair stepping lower because our monthly had a hook and a cross, which meant our weekly was going to go to oversold. And this is the process here. The monthly had a hook and a cross down. The weekly ended up going down and slingshotting several times. So the monthly took multiple months to cycle. But we knew well in advance when it first hooked, the daily was going to give us day after day after day after day after day. Now, I'm a visual person. I need gauges. I don't like trading without any type of gauge. Well, you don't fly a helicopter, an airplane, drive a car, any instrumentation, any type of equipment you never use without gauges. So now it's just not a gut feeling. I can physically see when it's time to buy and sell based on our hook and cross trade triggers and what the concept of hooking and crossing means. So we're going to do a couple more examples. This was the euro dollar currently. We got a monthly hook and a cross trigger. Again, it doesn't hook and cross until it's ready and the trigger doesn't fire. So notice how accurately these are firing to buy and sell based on the cycle. But what did it mean? As soon as the weekly started, uh, excuse me, this monthly started to hook, it would have never started hooking unless we already had a hook and a cross on the down move of the weekly. So this swing point here is this swing point over here on the weekly, it's the same one. So notice how once we hooked and crossed on the monthly, the weekly did exactly what it's anticipated to do cycle and work its way down weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks in advance. So knowing if I set it up on a monthly that's hooking and crossing, then I could do options on a strategy and say, I know I'm going to be in this trade for multiple weeks or multiple months. I wouldn't do a daily option or a weekly option. I would go several months out knowing this weekly had to cycle. 
Well, knowing we also likely going to see it slingshot lower and lower and lower while the monthly continues to cycle. And notice we're still cycling down. So what's the prognosis for the euro weekly? It's going to turn back up and start correcting again, but then it's going to slingshot lower so this monthly can finish. I found over the decades of trading this, I noticed when we start to see what we call engage, disengage, engage, disengage. That behavior alone suggests this monthly is going to finish the down cycle. The behavior of the weekly suggests the monthly is going to finish the down cycle, meaning it's going from overbought to oversold and continues to slingshot lower, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows. Simple concept, isn't it? Works on all time frames in every financial market. Here's the pound dollar. One more time. You don't get a monthly hook without a weekly hook and a cross. And once the monthly started to hook, it meant my daily was going to go all the way to overbought. Why? Because a monthly hook right there equals a weekly hook and a cross. And as this would continue, the weekly hook and a cross meant the daily would go to overbought. And what is the percentage? It's the highest probability percentage out there. It's not overwhelmingly, you know, 51% will, will make the list and the other 49 won't. We're talking upwards of 85, 90, 95, and in most cases, even 100%. When you get a hook and cross pattern, a hook, PAI hook, and a trend momentum cross, it means the lower time frame will make its cycle. It's in the same in the opposite direction. When you get a monthly hook and a cross down, like we did over here, we got a monthly hook and a cross down. The weekly went from overbought to oversold and then started slingshotting lower and lower and lower. So that behavior is redundant time and time again. So that means I can anticipate future market conditions long before they happen. Know exactly what to look for. And you can tell I'm very passionate about training. I take the time to walk my students through everything they need to know to become successful. So let's go to the charts. We're going to start off with S&P. S&P has been grinding back up, but notice how we ended up selling this. I showed this trade a while back. We sold the weekly trigger, and we ended up making five points and 15 points. We like to set up one-third, one-third, one-third. So as soon as your trade is entered, you're at risk. But as soon as you reach your take profit, your stop loss moves automatically in the profit. And then the system will manage it for you from start to finish. But what did it mean? Why did we sell this early on before we started to get this big rally? How did I know it was going to go down? Because we had a weekly hook and a cross, which meant the daily was going to do what? It was going to go from overbought all the way to oversold, overbought toward oversold. And then, of course, as it starts to hook back up, we can take profits there. That's what this is, a take profit trigger. So again, doesn't matter what uh, currency, stock, futures, commodity, ETF, treasury, et cetera. Here is that trade on Whitcash for black gold, Texas tea, oil. And we just simply set the trade management system to sell a daily trigger. Well, I can set it in advance to where it, it will continue to ride until it meets the criteria, then it'll automatically enter. Why is the trade management system a good idea? It takes away the emotional aspect of trading, the psychological aspect of trading. It takes away that component. So now when I enter a trade, I know it's going to wait till the criteria is met, whether I use the automated version of this to automatically enter the trade when it fires the trigger to go short or fire the trigger to go long, or I manually do it to where I see it, I see my hook, and I go, okay, there's a trigger. I'm going to sell, and I manually sell it. Either way, the trade management system's there for your convenience. Ideal for people that work and don't have time to sit in front of the charts all day. So again, it really doesn't matter what the market you want to review, whether it's cryptocurrency. Here's Bitcoin. We pegged Bitcoin months back when the monthly first started to reverse and we got a trigger higher. You can go back in my archives. I specifically told everyone to buy here and we were going to rally to exactly where we said it was going to, a previous battle zone. Then we then sold it on the way back down once the weekly finished the cycle and started to reverse down. And I'm going to show you a trade that's running. Right now, you can't see it because the market's on ticking and you need live tick data. But I'll show you some screenshots where we made over $2,155 move lower based on that hook and cross trigger down. It's that simple no matter what you're trading. 
corn, whether you trade futures, forex, ETFs, treasuries, doesn't matter what time frame you're on. As soon as you get a hook and across, the lower time frame cycles. So I could do this all day long, not selectively picking any particular one, but notice the four hour had a hook and across, PAI hook, trend momentum cross. And once the four hour hooked and crossed, what did it mean? The one hour was gonna go towards overbought. What did the one hour do? The one hour went from oversold towards overbought, then started to slingshot higher, higher, and higher. That is the process that we expect. Now watch what else is important. That in the same boat, while we have a daily with the hook and a cross on corn going up, it also means this four hour is gonna finish that up cycle. So when we were scalping this long, we knew this would have to go higher till at least the trend momentum and the PAI got back in overbought territory. Then we take our profit. Yes, you can then close the long trade reverse on a trigger short, or you can set the trade management system to do it automatically for you. All you gotta do, and then we've made everything easy for it. We have included in our templates a buy or sell template for this trade management system. So if you know you're interested in buying because we're deeply oversold waiting for a green trigger, you tell it, use the buy template. If you know you're overbought, easily to tell whether we're overbought together and we're waiting for trigger short, I can tell it use the sell trigger. Only thing I need to customize inside of here would be how many lots do I wanna trade, how many take profits, stop loss, et cetera, levels that we wanna take. Now I'm not gonna go through every one of these, but what this system does, it's very smart. It knows every time frame, and it knows every time frame what direction the hook and cross patterns are, where they're located, when they hook, when they cross, what it means, and it anticipates that within the trade management system. So in the instance where we know that this four hour was likely to cycle towards overbought because the daily has a hook and a cross, right? We knew that. Well, the weekly is still down. So the likelihood the daily is gonna turn over to slingshot higher and higher is low because the weekly is down. But what if the weekly would have been up? when that four hour gets overbought or the daily gets overbought. It means that one would likely slingshot higher and higher so we could finish a cycle. Well, we're down right now and corn is taking a bounce, but guess what that means? The probability that this is gonna keep going and we break out to new highs on corn is low and the probability we end up turning back over to slingshot lower is high. Why? Because the daily is trying to go up against a weekly that is down. Pretty simple, isn't it? So I anticipate the daily to go up and I can trade it, but I also know when I started to buy this trigger here and get in this trade, I need to take aggressive profits because this is not expected to go breaking new highs. The daily is expected to turn over and slingshot. So I'm gonna call your attention to this phenomenon again. Price never moves down, even in the strongest of downtrend, it always stair steps. And price in the strongest of uptrend always stair steps. It's due to the time frame cycling. So in this example, you have multiple time frames oversold. We know when the daily hooked, the four hour had a hook and a cross, it was gonna go to overbought once my daily hooked and crossed. And my weekly's up because of my daily's behavior turning over slingshotting higher. So it's simple to tell what direction it's in, but we know simply looking at this, that this bias is that this is gonna go towards overbought. And then what? The daily's likely to start slingshotting back down again currently because the weekly is down where earlier the weekly was up. That's why the daily went over and slingshotted higher and higher here. Now the daily is going to start slingshotting lower and lower. Again, you can anticipate that well in advance. What else do we have? We have tools. This is called the Slice of Heaven Finder 4. It scans every symbol within the market watch and it'll tell you what's setting up. The dollar Swiss is setting up for a trigger down right there, slingshot engaging down. It tells you the dollar CAD has a scalper trigger up. Odd New Zealand has a scalper trigger up. Pound New Zealand, a weekly trigger long. So it tells me what I'm looking for. Notice the US 30 and the S&P. These were the trades we were in. I made 10 points and then on the first take profit, 15 points on the second one. This one I made five points on the first, 15 on the second one. And I know e-mini traders out there that die and go to heaven with one point. This system, when you align the time frame, makes consistent 10 points, 20 points, 50 points, 100 points. What's the difference? 
what am I lining up? Am I lining the monthly, the dailies, the weekly? So the higher the time frame, the more and the longer I'm in that trade. But this is set up for exactly that. You never miss the next big trade. We also offer a other scanner. That's an overview. And this one, I can customize the symbol that I want to watch, but it gives me everything I need to know. It tells me what direction my trend momentum and PAI is headed, up or down, sideways. It tells me what triggers are firing, whether we got a trigger long, a trigger short. And then it tells you whether slingshots are engaging or forming. So everything is here at your beck and call. It tells you if, what your average daily range is, whether you have open buy trades or sell trades, et cetera. It's all at a overview. And again, it fits in everything. So whether I'm trading stocks, futures, commodity, ETF, I'm going to set you up for those stock traders out there and then the Forex traders. We have numerous pairs, pound-based pairs, pound yen, pound New Zealand, pound CAD, pound odd, pound dollar. They're all maxing out. You can see I'm in ready-to-trade mode. See this one? Now, when I change time frames, it's no longer say ready-to-trade because the market's not ticking. But it's telling me I'm deeply oversold on a weekly. I'm deeply oversold. Still got maybe a little left, but the monthly's getting deeply oversold. The weekly's oversold. The daily's oversold. So we're getting ready for a big, massive rally. Now, whether it rallies to a lower high and a lower low or it truly breaks out, we'll see later, verifying whether the monthly hooks and crosses, then we know we're going to be in a long trade for weeks. But this one is definitely setting up with monthly, weekly, and daily all deeply oversold. And we're getting ready to trigger higher here soon. Same thing with the pound New Zealand. Just going across the board. Monthly's oversold. You say, well, that could maybe go just a little bit more. Yes, but it's also getting ready to reverse on the daily and the weekly. And that's definitely tradable. And notice we're already in this trade up nicely, a few hundred pips already off of the reversal. And this is likely to go up and slingshot lower so the monthly can finish, but I can take profit. So what do we need to know with the system? When I buy a trigger, I need to know whether it's going to make the cycle up so I can set my take profits accordingly, or if it's more likely to go up to slingshot lower, therefore I take more aggressive profits. Fair enough. So let's go back and show you why this system and the results that come from this system. Again, I wish the markets were open when I'd show you live trade. This is an example where we had a hook and cross pattern that we were looking for this to go higher, it triggered higher, and we knew this four hour was gonna keep cycling towards overbought and then start slingshotting higher because the daily had a hook and a cross, which meant the four hour was gonna finish, and the weekly started to hook, which meant the daily was gonna to start to go. And this was no joke. This is simply a nice little move, and it ended up being a $126 move higher on gold, simply by lining the time frames, telling the trade management system to buy it. Notice the trade management system is color coded. When I'm long, the text is green. When I'm short, the text is red. You'll notice as we go through some more samples. And here's gold back the other way. We rode it all the way up till it triggered back down and then we started selling it back down. Again, you can automate this so the system in ready to trade mode automatically enters when that criteria appears. And why did we know that gold was likely just to go down and not just slingshot higher and higher and keep the rally going? because my weekly started to hook and cross, which meant the daily had to go down. And check this out. In this example, we see that's a $150 move lower from selling a trigger and allowing the time frame to play out. We have results after results after result. Here's a little scalping trade. This is the pound New Zealand. We have what we call a bracket pending on. The pound New Zealand's time frames were oversold going towards overbought. I knew the one hour was going to keep slingshotting higher and higher like that because the four hour needs the one hour to do it to make its cycle. And as my daily continues to cycle, the four hour will keep doing it, which means the one hour is going to keep doing it. And this was an easy bracket order. So I set a pending order up here and I said, I don't want to sell anything so that if you go down and break the pending order low, ignore it. Only buy it when it goes higher because I knew the time frames were going to finish its outcome. And this was one we took based on that. It entered off the slingshot automatically and it went up for 77 pips. You think, well, 77 pips isn't that much. 
Most people lose money in this type of environment. After the big bust to move, how do I know is it ready to reverse or is it ready to keep going? The time frames tell me based on the cycles. And that was a 77 pip move. Here's the pound cat I was just talking about. Daily's deeply oversold, weekly's oversold, monthly's oversold. The daily is starting to ease its way out of oversold territory. We call that depressurization, where you're oversold and you start to depressurize. Or when you're above the red line, you're overbought and you look to sell. That's why it's color code. Oversold, you think to buy, line is green. When you're below it, you think about buying. And again, we're lining two indicators together. This is awesome because it tells me that based on a trigger, I set this days in advance and it grinded sideways, even went lower, and it didn't enter the trade until it triggered higher, and then boom, I locked in my first 76 pips of profit. It moved my stop loss into profit. Notice I have 89.1 pips to stop loss. I have 90.1 of profit. So it moved it into one pip of profit. So what does it do for you automatically? It takes away the stress. It'll enter the trade when it's appropriate and it'll let it run when it's appropriate. And when it takes profit, it automatically moves your stop loss. So you go from at risk trade to a no risk trade. Again, not the biggest move 90 pips, but that was automated and it's continuing to move and we're still in it. And that was the hook and cross auto trading. Here's the dollar yen. Yen base pairs are another one. All the yen base pairs, dollar yen, uh, CAD yen, AUD yen, New Zealand yen, you name it, the yen base pairs. They're all starting to bounce higher. And what do we have here? This daily hooked and crossed, we got a trigger, it entered for us. Price rallied to our first take profit up here at 79 pips. It moved the stop loss into profit. Trade continued to run, hit my second take profit. And my third take profit still out here, and it's still going. Notice it took profit one at 79, took profit two at 150. We're in a no, no losing trade or no risk trade, right? Because even if it reversed and pipped us out for more profit, Remember the behavior where we engage, disengage. That means this is going to take several more days to finish that up cycle, and we're going to keep climbing. So that's why I'm going to let that trade continue to run. Not the biggest, but stay. It's still effective in a 150 pip move higher on the dollar yen, and it was automated. We set it live in our trading classes. Here is the Bitcoin I was telling you about during my earlier presentation of Bitcoin. We sold the trigger and we allowed it to go down. Notice it took my first take profit, continued to go later down further, but notice where we are. This is that $2,155 move lower on Bitcoin by simply aligning the time frames. I'll go back this way. Simply aligning the time frames, looking for my hook pattern, trigger hook pattern, and then letting it go. And that's all it is. So what is this going to end up doing? It's going to keep working its way down. And we actually did reach out take profit too before it started to reverse. But that's how easy this is. It just align the time frames and overbought territory. Well, does that mean I have to look at every time frame from the one minute to the month to verify where they are? Remember, this is now programmed that we're not going to hook unless on a daily, that's a daily time frame. So we're not going to get a daily hook down unless the four hour has a hook and a cross. And then once the daily hooks and crosses, the trend momentum crosses here, then that four hour is going to go four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, take multiple four hour candles to finish that cycle. And because the daily is finishing the cycle, the four hour, what, daily takes longer to cycle than a four hour. So the four hour has to cycle, then slingshot lower and lower. Just like over here, the daily went from oversold to overbought and started slingshotting higher and higher. We can anticipate that in advance. Remember why we knew that was going to keep going higher and to keep buying daily slingshots? Buy the dips, buy the dips, buy the dips, because the monthly said the weekly was going all the way to overbought. And this is the whole process of the weekly going to overbought. My daily has to go from oversold to overbought. And because the weekly takes so much longer to cycle, the daily has to keep slingshotting. What is a slingshot? That's the four hour going from overbought to oversold, allowing the daily to form this. Then it slingshots back up when the four hour goes back from oversold to overbought. So every time I want to buy a daily slingshot, I can either do it on the daily time frame and tell the trade management system to buy that slingshot, 
Or I can go to the four hour time frame and say buy a trigger long because that's what it does. The four hour goes down oversold, triggers higher, forces the daily to engage up. So it's every time frame across the board, no matter how you slice and dice. Again, not a shabby move, 2,155. Now, many people crumble under pressure, the pressure of being in a trade for an extended period of time. They want to know, and it's weird how attachment to money forces people to do the opposite. Everyone knows let a winning trade run is the right thing to do. And you should cut your losing trade short. That's how you become a successful trader. But what does attachment to money do? You let your losing trades run thinking, well, it's not official loss until I close it. And, it, you know, God's going to be with me. It's going to reverse. It's going to come to me. Well, I believe in God as much as anyone, but I don't pray to God to say, please, Lord, I know I'm in this bad trade. Please turn it around. I look for the hook and cross and trust the gauges. So when we decided to sell this, we had a hook and a cross trigger going down and we rallied nice move down for 700 plus pips. Most people would have closed that and think, that's awesome. That is really nice. Well, notice, my first take profit was at 525 pips. See it? <laughs> I didn't even take profit to there. I let it keep going. So what do we know? We knew this was going to turn over and keep slingshotting because the weekly and the monthly are pushing over. So this allows you to stay out of it, let it do its thing, and let the winning trade continue to run. 778 pips, same trade, continued to 1,274 pips. Did we close it then? No, we let it keep running. Why? Because we knew it was going to keep going. And we're now up to 2,270 pips. Did we close it there? Of course not. Still going because the monthly was finishing that weekly cycle. So we continued to let it run to 3,727 pips. Notice what the daily did. It went from overbought to oversold, and as expected, because the weekly was cycling down, the daily had to slingshot lower and lower and lower and lower and lower, and that's how we let winning trades run, knowing my fuel gauge on a weekly still had more time for this to continue as we maxed that trade out. Well, that's just the tip of the iceberg. 37, 36.27. Here's the pound CAD, 3,073 pips. This is not a once-in-a-lifetime occurrence. It's everyday occurrence. It's uh, 3,215 pip. All you're doing differently to get these big numbers is aligning the higher time frame. Smaller numbers, you align the lower time frame. Here's another cool tool. We have so many tools in this software components, every tool you'll possibly need and then some to be successful. Well, this is what we call that bracket pending order. Well, this one I set, we knew we we're in a downtrend on the New Zealand pound yen, I mean the pound New Zealand here. And I didn't want to buy if it decided to bounce up and enter a trade long and then stop you out because it went back. So you can tell it to only sell rallies in a downtrend when you know it's going to do this mechanism of slingshotting lower. Does anybody remember when we know an hour would slingshot lower? When your four hour has a hook and a cross down, your daily is headed lower, the four hour has to go for oversold and the one hour is going to have to do it plus slingshot. So we know automatically. So look at this. I set it to only sell, not buy. And it would have entered a long trade as it went up to trigger, but it didn't. And we paid short. And again, 272 pips, but hey, it's consistent. Here's one 237 pips. Why? Same thing. Trigger higher, entered the trade to take profits as we were going higher. 237 pips on an auto hook and cross entry. What does that mean? It means once I click one button that says ready to trade, it's good to go and it will not fire until it's ready. And a trigger appears, it enters and does everything for you. So we took profit one at 309 pips. And we're starting to pull back here, but we expect this will reverse and stair step higher. So that's why I didn't take profit too sooner. I let it continue to run. See how easy this is? All right, what does the Master Trader program include? It includes our Market Price Anticipator Premium Edition 4 version 4.0 software. I've only showed you a fraction of the components. It includes our live trading classes. We do them three times a week, and we average about seven and a half to eight hours per, two plus hours per session. And we spend time looking for trades, setting up trade. But you can tell from my teacher's mentality, 
I love to sit here and explain. I call this painting the PAI Picasso. I'll tell you exactly that this is going to engage, disengage. See how this is going up? Watch my cursor. What's going to happen to Pound New Zealand in the coming weeks? It's going to go higher, then it's going to reverse and come back down. Watch this. It's going to go like that and slingshot back over. Why is this going to slingshot back over? A, because the monthly already engaged, disengaged, that behavior suggests it's going to finish. Plus, it's going to end up slingshotting back over because my monthly is still down. I got a monthly hook, a monthly cross, steep slope, angle separation. So this is still strongly down, but the pound yen will end up cycling thousands of pips higher later once my weekly finishes, uh, monthly finishes the cycle. But hey, I can still scalp these. That's what we did. We scalped several hundred pips just on a bounce that we know is going to end up going back. So why do I need to know when this is not likely to go this way, it's more likely to go up the slingshot? Because when I buy this, I need to take more aggressive profits. That's simple. See how easy this is? All right. So what else? Well, part of the software, you're getting the market scanner. Everybody remember what the market scanner was? Post the link. The market scanner looks like this one. This is the premium edition for scanner. Again, you can customize the symbol in here, and it gives you an overview of everything you need to know and then some. Also, we have, let's go back to the next one. We have the slice of heaven finder and the hook and cross trade triggers. What is the slice of heaven finder? The slice of heaven finder is this one where it scans every symbol within the market watch and tells you whether I set up a weekly, daily, four hour, or I set this as a monthly, weekly, daily, or a daily four hour, one hour, or a 15, five, one minute. Whether I'm a scalper, a day trader, position trader, any type of trader. It's the same, you just go with the different time frames, and you'll know based on where the hook and cross pattern is, what time frames finish cycles and which ones will not. That's simple. All right, let's continue. What else do we have in there? The trade triggers, again, we saw those over and over. That's just where you're in live trades and it enters a short trade for a red trigger down or enters a long trade, green trigger up. The trade management system, this is the new hook and cross trade trigger trade management system. Is the system different than MPA2, MPA3? Yes, it is. All this has now been reprogrammed, so it's totally different, 100% different. Same principle. You'll notice with our service, we sell the same software. We don't randomly throw out a software program in this program every month du jour. We run one program that's been running. Our membership has been with us. 90 plus percent of our membership has been with us for day one, which means they've been with us for nine plus years. If the system didn't work and my teaching wasn't skilled to help them become successful, they wouldn't be here for nine plus years. Triple P scalping system, we didn't even say it, show it today. The breakout trade management system, we briefly showed that. The bracket trade management system, you briefly showed that. So you got a ton of tools in here, everything you'll need. Now, there's the scanner I showed you a picture of. There's a slice of heaven. Here's the scanner where you set my trade management system. Hey, sell that red trigger down because we're overbought. Hey, buy that trigger long because we're oversold. Here's the FTSE again, same reasons, everything. Hook and cross, enter the trade, we went short, took profits, moved the stop loss, everything is there for your beck and call, for your convenience. It gives you red trades when you're short, green trades when you're long. Stop loss, take profits, and all the information you need is there. So why should we choose the market price anticipator software? Top 10 reasons. It automatically calculates support and resistance levels. It automatically identifies the trend of each time frame. Huge. That means it tells you whether it's going to slingshot lower or is it going to reverse to go back to overbought or reverse to go back to oversold. It automatically monitors and tracks those time frame cycles. It provides consistent entries, exits, take profit levels based on our hook and cross trade triggers, slingshots, and our profit triggers. Our Dual management system here, you can either set it in advance by telling it to buy the dips, sell the rallies, sell the trigger, buy the trigger, or you can automatically set it to where it trades to start to finish. So when I see a setup, I push the button to buy or sell instantly, and it automatically sets my take profit levels, etc. Dual scanners, both the 
scanner and the slice of heaven finder so I never miss the next big trade. It works on 800 plus symbols, including stocks, forex, futures, ETFs, commodities, cryptocurrencies, you name it. And it consistently delivers low risk, high reward, high probability trades. So what are we offering? We're offering our special webinar, Master Trader Program monthly subscription. Normally we charge $3.99 for that, includes both the software and the live classes. Most firms charge that for software alone, much less to have both instruction and live classes. And today, for today's attendees, we're offering a $2.97 a month special. So let's place that link again. Just click on this link. You will be getting the latest in the software. Now, just a couple more seconds to show why this is so important. Because no matter if you're trading futures, here's corn. Again, simply a hook and a cross pattern. It says, well, what is all this? This is proprietary. Again, it's been totally revamped, so it would not hook. How does it stay flat for a while? And other times it starts to hook. It knows based on where the other time frames are. Now the system cannot hook unless the other time frame, which in this case would have been my four hour, has a hook and a cross. And when you go to four hour, you can see there's a trend momentum hook and a PAI right there, cross, and a trend momentum hook and a cross. There you go, hook and cross. So this is, tells me whether I'm an options trader. How long do I need to be in this trade? Well, if I use a weekly hook and a cross, knowing I'm in days and days and days and days, then I can use weekly options. What if I use a weekly or a monthly hook and a cross? Then I know I'm gonna have weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. And what do I mean by a cycle? The PAI cycles from oversold to overbought and the trend momentum cycles from oversold to overbought. It's not just one of them. So when you see a hook and a cross on a time frame, you can rest assured highest of high probability it's going to make that full cycle, both the PAI and the trend momentum. So we invite you to come and join us as we have been in business for many years now. We have thousands of students and we like to say why the market price anticipator software because it empowers you to read and interpret price, read and anticipate price in any financial market on time, in time, all the time. And we're proud of this slide. We've been educating students from around the globe, 126 countries and counting. So you'll notice our world map. If you're from a country that's not represented here, then please join us and you'll notice your map will appear on our global map there. Your flag will appear on our global map. So take care. We appreciate the time and attention and we look forward to you joining us. And I thank Traders Talk Live for hosting again today and I look forward to many in the future. Take care and God bless.